Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in our technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we're going to add an app to the Axis i8016-LVE intercom. But in the previous video, I've set this system up. What we're going to do now is add the, uh, the app to receive calls. As you can see from the wiring here, all devices are PoE powered to a switch. And in turn, that switch is connected to a router, which, has, which gives the device overall um, internet access. To get started, you're going to need to go to your local app store and download the Axis Companion app, uh, whether it's iOS or Android, and also the PC software, again, Axis Companion. Once you've downloaded the app from your app store, we need to get the Axis Companion from the Axis website. So axis.com, we'll go to support and software. And then if we scroll down the page there, system devices, and the two pieces of software we need. We certainly need Access Companion, and in there you can see it's free download. That's the software we use to configure the device and set up its parameters to work on the, on the Access app. Also, further down there, you can see the Access IP utility. That's a little bit of free software um, which helps you scan networks and find the device that you need. Again, free download. Once you've installed the software, you might need to create a, an account with Axis, or you might not. Log into the account. Um, the first window is create a site, so you give it the site name, building name, that's just so you can find it. Click on next. As, you, as I mentioned there, here's the onboard network scanner. It's going to scan the network, see what um, devices it can find. It's found our intercom, so we're going to add that. We need to put the password in for the device. This is the password you created at initial installation. Um, click OK on that. Click on Next, and that will take us to the, to the next page. And then just assign storage. There is no storage, so I'll click on Next. Just confirm. That'll be correct. We are. Click on Next. Just doubly confirming there's no um, storage there, but we're ready to install and configure this device into the um, environment, into the, configure the companion environment. We're happy with that information. Click next. Now I've sped this sequence up. This sequence actually took me 10 minutes. Um, it assigns its resources, it checks the firmware, it updates the system, and it makes it compliant. So with the latest version of the software and the app on your phone. Once this is installed and running, you'll do the same on your phone, but all you'll have to do is just log in. And once you log into the phone, you'll then um, have this account. And on that account, you will see the door station that we've just added. As I say, after 10 minutes, it um, finishes its configuration and it will load you onto the preview page. So we've got the live view there. If the configuration tag at the top there, you can make any changes. You can upgrade firmware if you need to. I've just updated mine, so there you go. You can see that the updates is there. And if you need to um, do it, check in on, on any events or create a new schedule, you can do that here too. So with all that done in uh, video companion, we just need to go to the app. Uh, sorry, we need to go back to the door station and enable calls to be handled by um, the EMFs. Use the network scanner. There it is. Double click on login. I've got the details saved into my um, my browser there. So let's log in, and then we will go to on the slide by if you remember from the previous video call button. And simply now we just need to enable VMS, and that's it. That's enabled now. Let's give it a test then. So I'm just going to make a call. You'll see the handset will flash up first, and then a bit of latency, and then you'll see the app receive the call. Um, and then from that point on, you can see whichever device answers it. You can accept the call and release the lock.
And there we go, the, the setup of how to add the NAT for the access to come. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and projects teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.